Hey y'all, happy Tuesday. You know, I have to say that it feels really good to be back in this room at this desk talking to you. Um, I loved Mother's May. I loved everything about it. It was just right. But this feels this feels like home. And so I'm so glad to be back with you. Um, I do have some things in store for this month of June in celebrating our fathers. Um, but this, these next few days anyway, are going to be normal, I guess is a good way to put it. So I hope that you'll dig in with me. I do want to make a quick announcement reminder so that I don't forget that tonight is Tuesday, June 1st, and it's Women in the Word. So if you can, and if you can't join us tonight live, it will be on Facebook so that you can um, be with us when it's a convenient time. But Women in the Word is tonight at 7.30 on the ministry Facebook page, and I will share it in the Daily Devos group so that you don't have to look for the link <laughs> and that you'll be able to join us. But I'm glad that you're here. Now, Father's June, I'm still trying to figure out what to call this. If you have any suggestions about <laughs> what to call this June in celebrating um, Father's and Father's Day, I'm open for suggestions. But, um... And everything I was thinking about and praying about with dads, it was the lessons that they taught us, you know. And I said this earlier in one of our lives that with moms, they're so involved in everything that we do. I mean, it, you can look back on everything in my life and see the fingerprints of my mother. It's just the moms are so involved in everything. But there are lessons that I learned from my dad. And interestingly enough, um, even as I'm sitting here talking to you about those lessons, um, I realized that most of the lessons I gathered from watching him. It's not so much that he sat me down and he told me, you know, A plus B equals C, or this is how we do it. But I watched the way he lived, and I learned by watching. And so um, that's probably an important key. <sighs> And just in tying in, knowing where we're going, that we can look at um, for these next few days. So the base scripture that we're going to dig into is Ephesians 5.1. And I'm sure that it's one that you are very familiar with. And of course, I'm reading from the Amplified Classic Version. And Ephesians 5.1 says, Therefore, be imitators of God. Copy him and follow his example as well-beloved children imitate their father. Imitate their father. Therefore, be imitators of God. Copy him and follow his example as well-beloved children imitate their father. Now, in talking about well-beloved children, now think about what I just said um, a few minutes ago, that the lessons that I learned from my dad, the things that I remember most are not so much things that he told me. It's not that he said, this is the way you do this, this is the way you don't. But I gathered by watching him. And that's exactly what this scripture tells us, to be imitators of God and to copy his example. Um, Young children, like my David, he could probably pick out words here and there. He knows his name. He can pick out our names. But David is not a reader yet. He just turned four. But he copies. He mimics. He um, uses Dustin as a pattern or an example. And I, of course, you know I'm definitions and here we are back at it. <laughs> it's just me and you. So talking about some definitions. Definitions of imitate are to follow as a pattern, model, example, to mimic, or to be like, and resemble. And so young children, again, aren't reading lessons. They don't have long attention spans, so it's not like we can sit down and teach them lots and lots and lots or talk using lots of words. But they see the way we live our lives. They see what we do. They see how we respond in situations. And particularly, we're talking about the father. 
So he says, be imitators of God, copy him and follow his examples as well-beloved children imitate their father. Use their father as a role model. Use their father as an example. As well-beloved children mimic their dads. And so we're going to pick up right here tomorrow and we're going to dig back in into this Ephesians 5.1. I'll see you then. Bye, y'all.